Welcome to Ham Smarter with Vince VE6LK. Today I am going to show you a more in-depth view of the coolest radio called the HF Signals Z Bit X. This is a QRP radio with built-in microprocessors, a waterfall, and a touch screen. And as you can see, I'm holding it in my hand. It is small. It weighs under a pound with the two 18650 batteries that you supply. Um, and it drives on six to nine volts. It does FT8 built in CW phone and a whole pile of other things. Stay tuned. All right, well, let's take a look at the Z Bit X and see how it works in FT8 mode. Uh, follow along with me. So I have my Z Bit X here out on the counter and on the desk, whatever. And uh, I've got it set up on 20 meters. I have tuned my antenna. And, well, there's lots of activity going on here. Uh, the sun's been up for about 90 minutes, so it's a wonderful time of day on 20 meters and you can hear the the tones and whistles and you can see all the decodes uh, coming along so perhaps uh, I just want to throw my call out there and see what's going on so all I have to do is hit the CQ button and the radio is going to wait for that opportunity to uh, transmit at the next available time interval. Oh, holy crap, that's loud, isn't it? Let's take a look at some of those parameters. And I'm going to turn the audio down so it's not distracting. So there's two parameters you want to take a, pick, take a peek at. The pitch is your transmitted pitch frequency on FT8, as you would expect. But the other one to take a look at is the side tone. A side tone is the amount of audio you're hearing back in the speaker while you're transmitting. I like it about two-thirds of the way up. Let, so let's see what uh, that sounds like. I'll turn the audio back up. There we go. And let's... Uh, well, it's still pretty loud, isn't it? Uh, I don't want to listen... I don't know about you, but I don't want to listen to that when I'm uh, transmitting FT8. So here, I'm going to show you a trick. Take your pitch, and you turn your transmitted pitch down to, oh, I don't know, 500, maybe 400 hertz-ish. And then side tone still set at 65, of course. And now what's going to happen is... Uh, the the speaker is quite small it's three quarters of an inch by one inch and that 400 hertz is going to fall eh, pretty well well yeah, i can't even hear that i bet you can't either which is exactly what we want turn up the side tone yep and it's what it's done now is it's fallen below the uh the passband of the speaker itself so that it it's so low the audio level is so low I can still hear it with my ear but my microphone isn't picking it up for you guys so it's pretty quiet now that's actually pretty pleasant because I don't know about you but I'm not real crazy at all about listening to FT8 tones uh, as I'm transmitting uh, I don't mind hearing them on receive but as I transmit, that's just a different matter altogether because they're always so loud and so piercing, right? So let's see if anybody's heard us. We're, you can see that we've called out here uh, at 410 hertz. And it's going to call and repeat three times. So nobody's heard me. That's okay. I can turn that repeat criteria up. And I'll turn up the pitch just a bit so you guys can hear what's going on. And we'll try another... Uh, We'll try another CQ and we'll see what happens. So let's see if anybody's uh, spotted us here. We'll take a look. We're calling out at a higher pitch frequency, but there are a bunch of people 
that are calling right now. Now you can see up at the top when it transmits the power level and uh, the SWR. You also see the battery voltage. These are all very helpful uh, things to work with. Of course I'm driving it with just the, the two uh, 18650 cells uh, with the battery clip on the side. It's just outside of the camera frame uh, so you can't see that. Maybe somebody's going to call me back this cycle. That'll be exciting, right? Yes! KF9UG has picked me up. So this is great. We're going to let this uh, run through and then I can show you the automatic integrated logging feature that uh, comes within this radio, uh, which is really cool because you can then download the log files off of it and submit them wherever you need to. And he sent me the three Rogers, so I trust my uh, software built into the radio here is sending me the three Rogers. Oh yeah, there's absolutely nothing connected to this radio. This does FT8 built in. I have to goof around with a sound card or a cable or a computer. All of the software is built right into the radio. It's very cool because it's running on a Pi Zero 2W microprocessor and computer board. So it looks like it's done the uh, transaction. Let's take a look at the log now. So I want to click on open to open the log and there's KF9UG. He's right in there and the timestamp is incorrect. That's a bug that's been submitted. You can see another one here. It says the time is 3209. But when I look at that uh, on um, when I look at that in the file on the uh, the Raspberry Pi itself, it is correct. So this is a temporary uh, bug within the radio. You can see that it did log one correctly, my very first one that I did uh, just about the day I got it. So here we go. Hey, this isn't uh, too bad, hey? So um, there are a bunch of other parameters you can uh, change within the radio. You can, these are all the standard um, replies but if you want to get in there and modify your own they are N1MM compatible macros and that carries across into the uh, world of CW as well uh, when you want to modify uh, your CW uh, macros so anyway uh, oh the bandwidth on FT8 so this thing goes all the way up to a 5 kilohertz audio bandwidth on FT8 so what does that mean well that means if you're trans if a guy is transmitting here, like at 3500, that's outside of the passband of most receivers on most radios, but not this one. This one will hear people that are transmitting above the fundamental frequency, in this case 14074, and it'll, you'll be able to receive them. So that's a pretty cool feature, right?